Meghan Markle holds all the cards. In her relationship with Prince Harry, royal historian Anna Whitelaw claimed as she warned the royal family to take due hold of the Duchess of Sussex popularity. Meghan Markle has become a more powerful member of the royal family since giving birth to her first child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. The Duchess of Sussex and husband Prince Harry welcomed their firstborn in early May and have since introduced their young son to the world during a strictly managed photo call at Windsor Castle. Royal historian Anna Whitelock suggested the arrival of baby Archie and the great influence Meghan has over Prince Harry means the Duchess now holds all the card in the relationship and has warned the royal family to take due hold of her growing popularity. Speaking to Yahoo's The Royal Box, Professor Whitelock said, Meghan now is in a more powerful position than she has yet been since she joined the royal family. She is married to Harry, he clearly dotes on her and adores her, she clearly has a great deal of influence over him. She's now the media darling royal and she has a baby, as well. She holds all the cards now. Meghan is incredibly powerful and the royal family know that or if they don't know that, they should take due hold of that. Meghan Markle has certainly emerged as a popular member of the royal family since she joined the fray of senior royals with her marriage to Prince Harry last year. YouGov showed the Duchess of Sussex is the sixth most popular member of the family based on 8,954 interviews conducted between June 2018 and June 2019. The Queen topped the bowl with 72% of public positive opinion, followed by Prince Harry at 71% and Prince William at 69%. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Philip ranked right above Meghan Markle at 4th and 5th place respectively. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex on Saturday joined the rest of the royal family to mark the Queen's official birthday at Trooping the Colour in London. The outing marked the first official event Meghan has attended since welcoming baby Archie in May. She assisted through the birthday parade after greeting the crowds during an open carriage ride she shared with sister-in-law Kate and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. The Duchesses later joined the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince Harry on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to assist to the RAF flyover. Archie is believed to have remained at home in Windsor but cousins Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis joined stepped out with their parents to celebrate their great-grandmother. Trooping the colour marked the first public event one-year-old Prince Louis attended, who appeared to thoroughly enjoy waving at the planes while in the arms of dad Prince William. The youngest of the Cambridge brood almost fell from Mum Kate, Duchess of Cambridge's arms as he overexcitedly pointed to the red arrows leaving a red white and blue color trail as they flew over Buckingham Palace. George donned a white shirt with blue trim, coordinating with his younger brother's outfit and Charlotte's ensemble. Charlotte, who is known to be a tomboy, topped off her ladylike look with matching bow in her hair. The royal trio looked thrilled as they watched the flip past of red, white and blue colors coming up the mall and over the palace. Kate and William's children have only been seen together in public a handful of times. Last month, royal fans were treated to a video of George, Charlotte and Louis exploring their mother's wilderness gardens at the Chelsea Flower Show. George, who will celebrate his sixth birthday in July, is set to head into year two in September at his school, Thomas's Battersea in London. Kensington Palace confirmed Princess Charlotte is to join her brother at the South London institutions when she starts school in September.